Welcome to this video where we will look at how to create a heat map in Excel using conditional formatting. We will see how we can use a heat map to quickly analyze a table of data and to give a visual indication of the high and the low values in the same. Here we have a list of seven units from a game and we want to find out the units that have the highest scores across the various attributes that we have listed here. So if you see we have 35 numbers here and it is quite difficult to quickly find out the best units. To do that easily we will use heat maps which applies a color gradient to a range of cells based on their values. So here what we have done is we have defined some of our own benchmarks and we will use them for our own comparative analysis. So to create a heat map quickly what we will do is we will select the range of cells that we want, go to home, conditional formatting and go to color scales. So Excel gives us a wide range of options for the creating a heat map with a three color scale. The most common of them are the green, yellow and red color scale. The first one uses green for the higher numbers and the second one uses green for the lower numbers. In our scenario, we want to signify that the green numbers the higher numbers are better so we will use the first one where green signifies the higher numbers i can just click on this and it creates a heat map for me however this heat map what it does is it so let me just go here and go to conditional select this again the data conditional formatting manage rules and click on the rule the graded color scale and edit rule. So what it does is it is applying a three color scale based on the lowest value, the highest value and the midpoint. However, I want my table to be formatted so that anything under 45 is under target or shows up in red, 45 to 70 shows up in yellow and anything above that is green. So I will change this quickly so that this is number equal to my under target again number equal to the target third one is the same equal to so now when i do this you will see a change anything which is up to 40 will be red and things are going up up to 45 is uh, red and things beyond 45 to 70 will be yellowish and anything above 90 will be green and you can change this and your values will change so if i make changes as 20 you will see the difference so this is dynamic now i have my heat map and it gives me a quick quick visual indication of where my high numbers and my low numbers are but it would be easier if i could hide the numbers i cannot delete the numbers because the numbers if i delete the numbers the if i delete the number the heat map goes away so i cannot delete the numbers so i need to hide the numbers and just give it a form like this so what i can do is I can again select the heat map, right click on it, format cells, go to custom, in number, go to custom and just give three semicolons. So what it will do is it will hide the numbers and just give me the color gradient that we are looking for. So here going back to the original problem we were 
looking to find out the units that scores the highest across the various attributes that we have. And immediately our eyes are drawn to these last two. They do not have any reds and have a higher number of greens and greenish yellows. So, a quick visual glance tells us that this is one of the comparative, one of the better units among these seven. So, this is the power of heat map which can turn a huge table of numbers into a very meaningful comparative set of data and it will help you do a lot of analysis quickly and it is great for reporting as well. So hope this video was useful to you. Do let us know in the comments if you face any issues while implementing this method. Thank you and have a wonderful day.